Hi. We've got one more to go after this, guys. One more. So we're gonna make the most of these last two Zodiac tutorials. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm going through like a fucking breakup or something like it. I can just do another series. I don't know what though. I don't know. I don't, I'm not passionate about many things, okay? I'm passionate about astrology, makeup, coffee, and that's about it. So I don't know what other series I could do. I've had a good time doing this though. I've had a really fun time. Anyway, today we're doing Aquarius. We're not going to mourn. We're not going to be crying about anything. We can do, we can cry in the Pisces one to end, you know, their water signs are very, very sensitive. I think Pisces are more crybabies than Kansas, okay? My opinion. I'm a Cancer. I don't think we're that much of a crybabies. Well, we are, but Pisces cry more, in my opinion. Anyway, we're not talking about Pisces today. We're doing Aquarius, okay? Aquarius, the water bearer. They're an air sign, though. Okay, don't get that muddled up. Don't be that person. So this is the look we've gone for. Hope you like it. It's very random, very all over the place, kind of like Aquarius is. So yeah, if you want to see how I did this makeup, have a chat about Aquariuses and why we love them, then subscribe if you want to, give the video a thumbs up as well, and just keep watching. Also, can I just add, charge my camera battery, it's only got one battery bar down, it... I think we should celebrate because I haven't had to rush filming the video, I've actually taken my time. Okay, bye, enjoy the video. Oh my god, almost just died. It's Aquarius time. Right, so we've gone for a lot of different colours. We've gone for a lot of random shit put together. So, I am using two different eyeshadow palettes because I just didn't have one that had everything that I needed. We've got blue, but we've got some purple for Amethyst, which is the February birthstone. So, the two palettes that I'm going between are two of the Morphe ones from Jaclyn Hill's vault. So I've got the purple one and the blue one. These are the two that I'm literally going between. That's the purple one and then we've got the blue one as well. Literally from the blue one, I'm just using the blue. So it's mainly this palette to be honest. So yeah, I will shut up and we'll get going with the eyeshadow and then we'll have a chat when it gets to the face like we've been doing for all of these. Okay, so that was fun. So we've gone kind of grungy actually. I didn't think it was gonna be this dark, but you know what? 
It's fine, we'll go with it. So I hope we like these Aquarius-y vibes. I don't know if you can see it, but I did use a blue liner on the lash line because the colors for Aquarius is electric blue, it said in my book. I obviously went to my Bible to get some help because I really didn't know what to do. Like, I, honestly, this is the one that I like didn't plan. Like, I feel like I've been trying to think of what to do for Aquarius for so long. I haven't been able to figure out what to do for it was all over the place for this one. So let's just do the skin. So I'm just gonna use the Spotlight Primer from Physician's Formula. Okay, so foundation wise, like I said, I don't really wanna go too heavy, I don't think, on the skin. My skin's still a bit rough right now. So I'm just gonna use the CC Cream from IT Cosmetics. Okay, so Aquarius, so. I am literally so sad that I've just got Pisces to do and then I'm done with these, like I'm so sad. I think I also really struggled to do this one because obviously Aquarius is the water bearer so a lot of the colours and like the whole vibe around Aquarius is kind of blue and watery themed even though obviously they are an air sign but because they are the water bearer a lot of like the colours and stuff like that is very blue. I really was so tempted to just go full on blue but I refrained from it because I think Pisces obviously is a water sign as well so I feel like Pisces deserves to be the blue one. So I am going to go fully blue with Pisces which is obviously the last one because I wanted to do something like quite fun but still kind of going with the tones because for me personally like Aquarius there's like two different types of Aquariuses with people I feel like they're completely different they're either one or the other the people Aquarius that just love people they love being in groups and kind of get on I feel like Aquarius is one of those signs that just they literally get on with everyone and they're really good at getting on with everyone I mean I think that's like an Aquarius trait to be fair just because they're all about like communication and shit like that so it's kind of hard not to like Aquariuses but I feel like you also get like my favourite type of Aquariuses which is just like the kind of like the quirky and awkward ones I love those Aquariuses like Kathleen Lights who's my babe my favourite YouTuber ever she's an Aquarius and she's more of a quirky awkward Aquarius and you know we love her she also has a Scorpio moon as well so she's an absolute babe oh. For concealer, we're going to use the Sephora Bright Future Concealer. I don't know what else to say. What else can I say about Aquariuses? I don't really know. Do I know it? I don't really know Aquariuses, to be fair. They're one of those signs that I don't... I work with an Aquarius. Like, and that's a lady. I don't know any Aquarius... I don't think I've ever met an Aquarius a guy, actually. How do you like my Aquarius? What do I like about Aquariuses? I like the fun side that they always have. I feel like if you're with an Aquarius, I don't think you'll ever have like a shit time. Like they're fun people. They are really, really fun. Even the quirky kinds, I feel like they're just funny. They are super weird. They're so weird. Aquariuses are really, really weird, but they're funny. Let me set this. So I'm going to use the Revolution Loose Powder. I think I might just mimic what I'm doing because obviously I have done a halo eye so I think I might just kind of mimic what I've done on the top I think I wish I had bigger eyelids like honestly if you had like if you have a lot of eyelid space I honestly envy you so much because I feel like my eyes are so small I I can't really pull off halo eyes I don't think that's why I don't do them that much but anyway yeah that's what I'm just gonna do quickly with the eyeshadow I'm just gonna do the same thing so I'm gonna do like the blue and kind of like the red kind of on the outer bits and obviously in the inner and then I'm going to use that glittery well the shimmery purple I'm just going to put that like in the center underneath something I love about this book that I've got it tells you it gives you like a whole page of like famous people in like whatever sign you're looking at so in the Aquarius one some famous Aquariuses if you didn't know. Famous Aquarius is Oprah Winfrey. I've never really watched a show, it's not really a thing we get here in the UK, so I don't really know much about her, so I don't know if she is very Aquarius or not. Um, I'm pretty sure Ellen is an Aquarius, she seems like an Aquarius. Uh, Justin Timberlake, 
but that's like Jennifer Aniston. She's an absolute babe. She's an Aquarius. Okay, right, let's stop yapping on now. Let's finish the rest of the face off. I'm gonna use the little Cover FX Bronzer Duo. And I'm gonna use this one to contour and then I'm gonna go over with the glowy one. But blush, I didn't want anything too intense, so I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild Nudist Society blush. This little fella, I feel like it kind of goes in with, you know, the, the crease a little bit. Then for highlight, I'm actually going to use like a pink and a purple. And I think I actually might use some of this pink highlight to put in the center of like the eyeshadow a little bit. Please tell me I'm not gonna ruin this. I just feel like I wanted it to be a bit more, a bit brighter than that. So this is the Revolution and Soph highlight palette. So I'm gonna mix the pink and the purple together. I've never used these before, ever. I've never ever put pink and purple highlights on my face. Well, let's see I just wanted to because obviously the February birthstone like I said is amethyst so I just want something a bit different it's actually really nice I want to do something kind of dark a little bit dark so I'm gonna use the nude sticks lip crayon and this one is in boho and I'm gonna use this as kind of like a lip liner and just like a base. And then over top, I'm gonna to use the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Very Victoria. That one's like a bit of a purpley, kind of mauvey tone. And this guy's just gonna go right in the center. Cause that's a combo. I really like that lip actually. All right, folks, let me situate myself correctly on my squeaky chair so this is Aquarius Dawn I really like it I don't know if this look is Aquarius if you are an Aquarius let me know I know a few of you are Aquariuses well that you've told me anyway I remember seeing some comments so let me know my Aquarius peeps let me know if you like this look tell me if you would wear this if this is very Aquarius if I've absolutely bottled it and this is disgusting and you don't like it let me know so that is it for the video so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked this look if you did enjoy it give the video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video